Well, today is the next day. <clears throat> Let me add a bit of Christmas to this. Perfect. Now, in the last video, I powered up the real to real and it played perfectly. In stereo, perfect. What you did not get in the recording was uh, I replaced two, I believe there were 10 UF capacitors in this circuit. I will show you, but I think my camera's pasture is starting to happen because it, it didn't record it. And I swear I had it on record. So, yeah. So, I'm like, I, those capacitors that I have not replaced yet, the two that I think is going to make it work, because in, in the last video at the end, you could actually hear a recording. Loud, pretty loud and clear, but it needs more power. So what we're going to do, we're going to uh, put this 45 UF and replace the 50 UF with this 45 UF. That'll work, right? No. It will not work. <clears throat> so, they no longer make 50 UF. I can't find any on eBay. That's actually where I get my capacitors. So, you replace a 50 with a 47. It's set to work, and I'm pretty sure it will. So, I'm like, I only got one 47 UF. I need another one. So, I'm like, <clears throat> let me uh, take out part that old battery charger and see if it uh, has a 47. And it has two 47s. Yep. Got two 47s on it. Sweet. So uh, let me just desolder this, work my magic, and I'll and I'll be having this in my hand in three, two, one. And just like that, capacitor, nice and desoldered. It is a uh, 47 UF. Let's uh, test it. Uh, it should be good. Because this battery charger was working. Oh, yep. 48. 48. Perfect. That's a healthy cap. I also got the other one because, you yeah, know, might as well. They're free. Let's uh, take off our Christmas decorations. So, um... Uh, it's probably the tenth time I've done that. Okay. So, I replaced the two 10 UFs that were right here. Now, these uh, capacitors, uh, they were a source of the problem. I didn't fix it fully because these are the record switches right here. Those 50s right there, which I can't get to. Those 250s, I feel like those are causing these issues because they're in circuit with the switches. These were as well. These 10 UFs were in circuit with the switches. But um, those 50s, one starts right here. And this in the uh, positive part starts here to switch. This has got to be the problem. So does the other one. It goes right to the switch, both left and right. This is this is probably my issue. If not, um, I can replace that three with a four. I think it'll work perfect. Twenty-five. I mean, I could replace that as well. Hell, I might put back the thirty-three. These ones I can't replace. I don't got six hundred volt, and these things do tend to short. Probably what's happened. I don't know. Dip new, just ancient technology that I like. Okay. All right. Also, has the resistor I placed. Has no killer band, but still works. Here's some capacitors I've replaced. Here, just to recap, because some of them wouldn't fit through the damn board. It works. So, uh, let's. 
replace those 50s back there. Okay, so, um, yes, let's replace those caps. So let's figure out where they are on the circuit. Negative, negative, positive, positive. Okay, let's desolder this. Okay. Note to self. It was literally the same place I left it and where I normally would keep it. Oh well. Now in this area, for some odd reason, the solder pads easily rip off. So let's uh, keep that at a minimal. Great. That solder pad's starting to lift, lift off. Fuck. This old technology is just getting to that point, you know? Such a shame. Yep, that is the one. Okay. Come on. How the hell did you get this out? Ah, there we are. Same comp company. Oh, 15 volt. Shit, look at that. <laughs> I was correct, that is plus. Look at that. Sweet, cap out. Time to uh, replace you, replace you. 50 UF, 15 volt. That means I can use the 25 volt, which has the longer leads. Ooh. Let's see if this will substitute our uh, issue. Okay, there's a negative. Here we go with hopefully positive. Positive will go to there. Look at that. Not bad. What we do is uh, we top it off with some of that electrical tape. Just a tad bit because, you know, I sometimes have friends say, Oh, you need electrical tape. And I'm like, nah, it's fine. But just for you, you know who you are. Here you go. Some electrical tape. Look, that's uh, not the best repair, but hell, it'll do me. Perfect. And we'll just lay that down like that. And that is what I call done. That's done. Okay, next cap. Oh, shit. That looks good. Come 
I know. There we go. Perfect. Now those are taken out. Perfect. So far, gotten these out. That one does look like it has a bulge. Holy mother of pearl! Oh my god! That's a 50 and look what that fucking test! Oh, 11... 117 UF! Oh, no, no, no! Bad! What do you test? Delinquent number two, what do you test? Oh dear god! 80 UF. Okay, yeah. I have a feeling that the amp is going to be alive. I have a feeling record is going to work. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Let me clean up everything. Actually, before I do go, let me just put my signature. So no, so people know when this was last repaired. All right. Got uh, our bulbs. Perfect. The cap, it looks good. It tests fine. It tests a little bit high, but I mean, it's a 60 old cap. You gotta, you just gotta let it go. We're getting better. We're getting better. What? It didn't record anything? How is that possible? Th I replaced all the capacitors, isn't that all you need? There's gotta be something else to it, uh... What if I, uh, replace the, uh, oscillator capacitor that looks like it's sweating, uh, bullets? But wait... I have ventured off to the internet. So, I have ventured off... to... Real to real problem, please help. Looking for an answer. Okay, this guy says... I recorded and it's extremely fuzzy. And so low, you can only hear the what sounds like. You might not have the tape threaded to cross the heads properly. Check that manual and make sure that it's correct. Make sure you have the shiny face side of the tape away from the head. So check that on the tape. The dull side of the tape is the side that needs to be against the heads. It could be the tape. Getting a new reel-to-reel -reel of tape would be the way to go. I should try this. Let me go to my tape recorder. So I put the tape on the reel to reel.
Then I rewind the tape. Mm -hmm. Then I played it. I replaced was pointless but next video we will be fixing that sound we'll be fixing this problem tune in the next video we will be lubricating the mechanism well the capstan and making it quiet Thank you for watching, and goodbye.